So hello everybody, welcome to the Star Guys Zagreb. I'm uh, happy to host the event from Modosco and uh, we'll get to know him and uh, his star. So nice to meet you, Ivan. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> hello everybody. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm actually coming from a small town. In Bosnia, Livno, I have to say that online. <laughs> um, finished high school here, and uh, I started playing basketball professionally. So one of the friends that I met while I was playing uh, started a company, and he wanted me included. So that's how we actually started the book. The official story is actually that we were hanging out, and we were talking about uh, the problems, and one of the guys who had his own company started saying, I can't hire people that easy, I can't find the right talent, so what should I do? So we started talking about it, and later on we started actually looking into it, find some gaps, and voila, a <laughs> so, so it started from a problem. We started from a problem, yes. We started from a problem. First, we thought we're gonna go just, we, we, we're gonna hit tech companies. But it, it ends up that everybody has that same kind of problem. So we actually, you know, spread it out. So the market was a lot larger than you originally this Definitely a lot, lot larger. We, we actually underestimated the, the Croatia itself. So, you know, the, the, the market is basically huge and recruitment is actually one of the taboo in, in, the, in the startup scene because people don't like to hear oh here's a new recruiting startup you know because there there are so many of them and uh, we found a gap and we definitely wanted to go in with it because that complete market is very competitive and being a professional athlete you know competitive comes from deep within, so it wasn't a problem to get into it. Well, that's cool. So, uh, tell me a little more about uh, the early stage of Adopto. So, you met, what is it, a bar or something? Yeah, yeah. So, we basically started looking into the problems. So, it ends up that uh, people, for example, uh, have 10 open positions and they're using one email address. So when they get uh, crowded with CVs, they, they lose so, so much time to just to make it who applied for what. Sure. And uh, th that, that was one of the problems that Adopto started solving. The next thing was what, what is called passive candidates. So these people are actually, they have a job, Mm -hmm. They're not looking for a new one, but if a <coughs> better offer comes, they, they will change it, you know. So we started looking into that kind of problem. We find a gap, what, what we can do. So basically, these were the beginnings. A doctor started growing pretty fast as soon as we started getting into it. So uh, look, looking into problems and finding the solutions, we came up with, a, as we call it, a complete talent acquisition platform. So what, what we want to do is change a little bit things and uh, make it more user friendly. Mm -hmm. So this this is one of one of the main main points. I would I would call the recruitment world uh, made of two things. Uh, one thing is a recruitment marketing yeah. before the person applies for the job, and after the person applies for the jobs, it's a selection process, and it's run by applicant tracking systems. So these two parts are actually very big and there's many ATSs, applicant tracking systems, and Adopto is already on the top level mm -hmm. right now when we talk about applicant tracking. Recruitment marketing part is not really covered. You know, there are two big uh, tools that are actually looking for enterprise level companies. They are affordable only to them. So people who are looking uh, for a job, they apply to one or many different job sites and 
those job sites uh, send the CVs to partner companies, and those partner companies use Adopto to sort and track all those CVs, right? No, let me put it this way. So Adopto is a, a recruitment tool. Okay. So you as a user yeah. can create a, a new position, create an application form, mm -hmm. create a career website where this open position will show up, okay. and you can distribute it on different places, including the job boards that you set right now. So actually what you can do easily with a doctor is share it on social networks. So wherever the person applies, it comes back directly to a doctor, to the base of candidates of open position that you open. So, so it's a seeking developer supply here and that will be the link, right? Yes. Oh, that sounds most very useful, yeah. Yeah, it is because like I said, companies are wasting time on selecting who applied for what, and with the doctor that problem is solved at the very moment that you start using the doctor. So if you want to use a doctor, you can use it right now because it's a SaaS company, it's a cloud version. So only you, only thing you need to do is sign in and you have 14 days free trial. <laughs> so uh, is it for like big companies, enterprise only or? No, uh, any size company, that is higher you can use it. So, uh, so this a tiny startup also? Any size company. Because uh, we made a flexible pricing model that suits uh, companies of any size because uh, we were thinking about it. We wanted to, to, to make price uh, affordable to any size company. That's, that's why we made this flexible, flexible pricing model. It means that, for example, <laughs> You're hiring, uh, we charge per open position. Okay. So if you're hiring per month yeah. and you finish your distribute, you finish using a doctor after 15 days, you pay only for 15 days. This is for <coughs> small companies. We also made annual packages for uh, mid sized companies yeah. and enterprise level companies. So they like to pay once and just use it. Keep hiring. Yeah, keep hiring some. You don't mess with it, and that's it. Okay, cool. So tell me a little bit more about the recruitment world. Okay. Well, like I said, it's it's made of uh, recruitment, marketing, and uh, selection process. And the thing is, uh, the recruitment world is very, very competitive. It's extremely competitive, and uh, today people tend to switch jobs more than ever so they change the job so now companies uh, end up in a, in a really uh, in a race to hire the right person mm -hmm. to hire the best candidates so the stats show that uh, the best candidates are on the market only 10 days so if you don't have a fast selection process you can get those you're gonna lose them you're gonna lose them right so uh, with a uh, western Western countries using these kind of tools already, and in Croatia, for example, not so much. It's 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 very hard, for example, for us as a startup from Croatia to come from here because people don't understand here that they even have this problem, uh, and uh, we have to basically educate the market to you know move forward with adoption. And we we did quite well for now, so. We're doing it really, really good because uh, we find, found the sales channel, how to do it uh, here, and we tested the, the one how to do it outside our borders. Also, uh, it's not only Croatia, it's Europe also? Or yeah, we're, we're globally. Uh, we're looking to move globally. But right now, we're just working around uh, ex Yugoslavia countries. And uh, the thing is, we want to be really market fit ready to go global because we don't want to mess up once we go there. We want to take the part of the of the market, you know, put ourselves there and say, okay, this is what we'll do wrong. So not a minimum valuable product, but minimum lovable product. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so uh, what did you say are other than global expansion? Where do you see Adopto in a few years? In a few years? Well, that I can talk about for an hour at least. <laughs> but uh, I'll, 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 we got better power. So yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut it pretty short. What do you want to do? I mean, you found two problems, you said. <laughs> So far, everything is going good. No, I, I just I just mentioned two problems. There are uh, many more. So okay. There are many more. Uh, the biggest problem right now in, in, in the world is the passive candidates. How to find a passive candidate. This, this is the biggest problem. Everybody has it, and 25% uh, of our market is in the USA. They have it too. So we want to solve that problem. Can you just repeat, sorry, passive candidate, what is it? Uh, passive candidates are people who have a job. All right, they have a job. But are are not looking, are not looking for a job. So they don't apply for your open positions or your, where you distributed your, you know, uh, uh, these open positions. And uh, if you offer them a better things, they will come to you. But how to find these people? And uh, this is the, the biggest problem, and this problem comes in IT sector most, because uh, you're looking for developers, uh, yeah. and, and they're not, for example, in Croatia, there are not so many uh, developers as much as there are open positions. So, uh, for example, we had a conversation with a recruiter from Ireland, mm -hmm. and he says, okay, let's have, let's say like this, we have 150 developers in Croatia, I come and take 30 to Ireland, to Dublin, and you stay with 120. <laughs> and all these companies are fighting for this 120. That's amazing. And uh, the thing is that uh, colleges are not producing enough fast new developers, so that's how you end up with a problem of a passive candidate. And we want to solve that, and that's a global problem, and that will put us on a global on a global level as a, you know, a really competitive company. That's pretty good. So that's your <coughs> global vision letter. That is our global vision. That is where I see us in a couple of years, yes. Okay. So what would you say is your biggest problem right now? Well, as you mean as a doctor or? Yeah. Uh, we need to extend our team. That's, that's definitely the, the, the biggest problem right now. So we, we, have, we actually are having the same problem that every startup <laughs> has. Are solving. <laughs> that we are solving, yeah. So uh, the thing is... Right. You have the experience exactly. No, we have, exactly. I, I, was, I was talking to, uh, to a young fellow here about that, that same problem uh, every startup has. So we, we have to grow fast. To grow fast, we have to produce traction, we have to do this and that bringing attention of a VC fund and things like that. So basically, it's the same problem that every startup has that wants to go fast and go global. It's basically the same everywhere. It's interesting. So recently I was in uh, the, the uh, Startup Grand Global Conference and one of the speakers was Vinod Koshla. So he's a super famous uh, VC investor. And every time he talks, he says he spends at least 30% of his time every day on recruitment. Well, we have uh, we have customer stories. You can check it out on our website, adopted.eu. Uh, where, for example, uh, Rimac Automobile, our uh, customer, has saved over 50% of their time on their recruitment. So, just like you said, if he has a problem with 30%, maybe <coughs> 15. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but it's exactly like you described. Uh, so uh, passive people already uh, are quite skilled, but already have a job. So, uh, <coughs> no problem. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, th this is a huge problem everywhere. I talked to people from Silicon Valley also. <coughs> and they said, great, if you can solve this, it's going to be great. We are actually looking for an investment to do so. and. I hope that we were going to get there to, to get it done. But that's a, that's a future plan. What we have right now is a top level product that can compete <coughs> with other kind of uh, competitors on the field. And uh, once we start going 
let's say when I say global, I mean to other countries, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be really nice ride because we have the horsepower. The doctor told us a little bit about the, the problems. Uh, I want to now uh, ask the audience if they have any questions. Yeah. Question. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier that in order to expand globally, you also need to finish your product. I mean, you, you still need to get sales team, but you also have to kind of finish the product. Uh, like you have to do something to the product in order to go globally, kind of test upon the product. No, uh, the thing is, we can go right now to the global level. Okay. With the product we have, it's on the top level already. Yeah. We can compete with others. But what we want to do, once we do yeah. do that, the that way, we want to have something special, you know, built to, to, to go global. So once we uh, put ourselves in, a, um, like I said, uh, the ATS part and the recruitment marketing part, when we cover the recruitment marketing part, we're gonna, we want to make a great impact on that part. So that, that, that's basically our idea, but we have a top level product already. So what's that special ingredient for you to do? What's the uh, it's, a, it's a way to solve the problem with the passive candidates. It's a way to solve the problem with the passive candidates, definitely. So this is, this is the biggest problem and that's, that's where, where we want to put ourselves, put our effort in. And this, the same thing that goes with that is actually talking to these passive candidates because there's a big, really big gap between IT world and HR world and the communication between the two is really bad and we want to, through uh, AI and uh, behavioral uh, psychology, just, you know, make that gap lower and fi find a way to work it in. Oh, really cool. Any other questions? Uh, that's a Croatian audience. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Other question? In regards to the uh, past candidates, how do you get them in the database? Do they apply to you directly? Or, or, or do you go and reach or you keep the last Excuse that? me, you're talking about passive candidates? Uh -huh. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. That's you nice just. To, I, yeah. to, I come from the US, but it's like a total. Yeah, okay. So, so different with email out there and, and how you. Yeah, all these from different sources that have to do some different things, but then how do well, you keep them for future? How do you keep? Like, how do you know that they might be interested in this? So, well, this is the problem with passive candidates. So, uh, what what we want to do is solve that. And uh, the thing is, uh, you have to find these people. Yeah. How to find them? That's uh, in IT sector. It's well, basically uh, the social networks. Are included. I can't go to details because we're planning on it, so I wouldn't go that far. But the thing is, uh, the social networks today are very big uh, source of information. So basically, using that knowledge would give us an advantage to find these candidates and how to solve this problem. Yeah. Well, um, I have actually a question. Your question. Uh, we might need something. So uh, basically, might be a good tool for a headhunter. Yeah. Of course, definitely. definitely. Because they actually effectively seek people who are already employed to give them a better opportunity. Definitely. Once, once we, once we solve this problem, and even right now they can use Adopted for their selection process and other things because Adopted is meant to be uh, meant to be an open open platform. Mm -hmm. So we, we have API that we can connect with other tools. So we, we thought of that part and definitely we're going to go that way to open the platform for us. Oh, that's a good way. Oh, a good <laughs> so on the topic of LinkedIn, that's, I think it's a great tool to get passive uh, candidates. Well, we had a, we had a similar question. <coughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But a LinkedIn is very close. So, uh, as in, in IT sector, it's not really easy to find these people, even on LinkedIn. So, you're targeting only IT people? Or? Well, 
that the thing, the, the solution that we're preparing is going to be uh, very, very much different than I'm talking right now. It's not, it's not just going to solve uh, passive candidates, the problem of the passive candidates. It can be applied to sales and marketing too. Right. So uh, it's, it's more, more than one problem that is solved. Any more questions? Not everybody at once. Well, we have we have customers. We have we have customers who are recruiters and you, they're using Adopto right now uh, because, uh, uh, like you asked about uh, the passive candidates, uh, today uh, the speed of the selection process is very much important. So uh, the recruiters who are looking and getting, for example. Uh, a lot of guys who apply, if they're not fast to put everybody in the place, it's, it's going to make them a real big problem. Especially if they have a base of candidates that is not searchable. So, for example, you have people who are using uh, Microsoft Excel for the, their base of candidates. And it's not searchable, it's very hard to do it. It's, and so on. Adopto solves this problem because it has a searchable base of candidates. You can see what everybody did with this candidate before, where he is right now, and things like that inside the selection process. And the thing, another thing that I failed to mention was communication because recruitment is a collaborative uh, work. Okay. So the communication between the people who are in charge of hiring is very much important. So, for example, if you and me are hiring and we're not using a tool, so you send me an email, I call you, and uh, you send me a text, and so on and so on. Communication to adopt goes just to adopt. So every time you plug in, you you know what I did with candidates. I know what you did. You leave me a message, and it's the communication is really. Uh, simplified. So you mean if there are several people uh, in course. the process? Of course, and, and especially, I, I said just two people, yeah. imagine if there are 20 people included. So basically, yeah. it's very much simplified. This comes in, and uh, of course, like I said, any size company can use a doctor, so a uh, very uh, small company will have, uh, for example, will not have HR in their sure. human resources. Their CEO will be the guy who is in charge of hiring. So what we need to do is save his time. And this is what Adopto is all about, saving time. And this is where people don't understand, okay, what it means to save time. It means to save you money because your time that you're using on recruiting, like you said uh, about this guy using 30% of his time, uh, you're definitely losing money while you were supposed to run company. And Adopto makes these problems basically go away, but it, it cuts you time. We have a, a customer story with Polyclinica Bagatti, where the CEO, uh, GM, was wasting a lot of time, and he actually said that we saved at least an hour a day of his time because he was using Adopto. Oh, that's cool. One hour per day. Hands up. Adds up definitely, and he he, uh, he he was supposed to grow fast, and he his presence was needed somewhere else. His this hour gives him to do something else for the company that benefits the company even more. Sure, that makes sense. So you mentioned it's a highly competitive space, yes. and so you have uh, tens or hundreds of competitors. How a lot of them. A lot of them. <coughs> and, uh, the thing is. Uh, some of them are really, let's say, old, yeah. old solutions, but new solutions pop up and they solve, let's say, two or three problems, but we try to make it a complete all-in-one hiring uh, complete solution. solution, yeah. So th th this is basically, like I said, uh, the thing is that the recruitment is divided on two places and uh, these ATSs, they, they're out there for almost two decades, so it's it's not something new. 
but the recruitment marketing part, that, that's the part where the chaos is. And this is actually the part that we want to change, where we want to put ourselves to make a huge impact. So if I were to ask, what's your competitive advantage over your current uh, competitor? So the small new one that you open up? Yeah, well, uh, the thing is, we, we are small and agile company, yeah. you know, and uh, we can adapt. So the thing, that, that's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, every two weeks, Adopto brings in something new. So every two weeks, we upgrade our product. And this will never end. So uh, our customers give you feedback. And according to their needs, we upgrade our product. The thing is, the, uh, the recruitment market is changing all the time. So mm -hmm. people, uh, like I said, tend to switch jobs more than ever. And the, the new trends that are coming, every company will sooner or later start using some kind of tool, you know? And uh, that, that, that's the thing. What, what we want to do is actually build this about passive candidates to make a really big difference between us and everybody else. So that's, that's basically where we go. But right now, the product that we have is a competitive product. So you mentioned uh, social media. So uh, when a passive candidate is entered into a database, or for example, of a recruiter, can they uh, use a social media to check if they change their job, if they quit, or if they're looking at yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Does it have any optimization, or do they do it manually? Well, the passive candidate doesn't know you found him until you contact him. So this, this is the thing. Uh, what really fast-growing companies that they are doing are referrals. So, for example, um, here in Croatia, you used to ask somebody, "Can I? Can you hire my friend?" <laughs> now these people are asking you, "Can you help me find a guy, your friend?" So, uh, the referrals are uh, one of the quickest way to, to find these passive candidates, and one of the quickest way to find a really good candidate. Because in, in your company, for example, uh, to adopt, them, yeah, you can. Uh, add your whole company and once you open a position by one click send them an email okay we have a new open position mm -hmm. can you refer a friend and he gets three links for a twitter facebook linkedin to share yeah. so for example if if you have a uh, hundred employees mm -hmm. and you uh, send them all new open position and they share it on facebook Average person on Facebook has 150 friends. You have 15,000 views on your new open position, which gives you visibility, more visibility than ever. So these are the best the best ways that a modern company uses to recruit <coughs> and hire people. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. Well, we we have a lot of interesting stuff, so. <laughs> So, what can you tell us about uh, Adopto that you uh, that you can share? That's not a, a secret part of your strategy. That uh, you might think will have a significant impact on your scale. Content marketing. That's okay, it. Okay, that's interesting. Content marketing is a future of our sale as a SaaS software. Uh, it's it's definitely a future of our sale. Uh, because inbound and outbound part of the sales are very much different. Yeah. I believe uh, we have to do both parts mm -hmm. because, for example, content marketing uh, will work outside borders of Croatia Most more yeah. than they yeah. work here in Croatia, while outbound will work more here than inbound. And, uh, we already tried, we have a magazine, we have a newsletter uh, on our website, we have free resources. So uh, we, we made, we thought about it, uh, we tried it out, and definitely the, the thing that we want to improve is, is content marketing. Uh, we, we, we tried out a couple of things, we tried different kind of articles, different kind of resources, 
to see what brings in new people, uh, what makes them believe their contact, uh, what they actually like to see on our website and things like that. And definitely there's a lot of space there to improve. Although we, we, we like I said, we already have a magazine, we have articles, we have over 20,000 20, views a month on, on our website. So it's, it's, it's definitely a part that I want to point out what we want to do. Cool. So in the, so how much, how long have you been, been part of the since, since the beginning. What was it, uh, two years, three years? No, we started, actually the whole idea started in, uh, in uh, September of 2015, but so we, we put our product out there, let's say in June last year, that, that, that we actually came out and said, okay, we have this product this is okay now and we started going with sales a little bit harder i mean concentrating on sales for like last two months and it's been great for us these last two months because uh, <coughs> we found so many interesting stuff that we didn't actually know before and now we proved it to ourselves that we have a product that people actually want and they need so that, that's, that's why I say, uh, if you look at the features, yeah. it's a top level. But now we, we have the numbers that they can say, okay, you have customers, you have a better user. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty much really good. Cool. So in this uh, four years of change, uh, what are some of the things that you found most uh, surprising that you didn't expect? A lot of stuff. <laughs> when we started, we thought it's going to go easy. So when, when you uh, planned this September, did uh, everything go exactly? No, like that? definitely uh, not. No, definitely not. So I believe two years is a minimum mm -hmm. where you have to, you know, grind like yeah. crazy. Two years is definitely minimum before you see some kind of results. Uh, we built the product thanks to our guys who really did a great job. We built the product really fast. They did a terrific job. When I tell people uh, how fast they did it and how many people were included, they, they get surprised. After I show them the platform. So how, how many? How fast? Uh, two guys built it in less than eight months, I think. Well, yeah. I did the eight trial nine months. Also, so that is pretty fast. Yes, it looks really good. Yeah, people who try to do it said <laughs> it's impossible, but these two guys, they really did out themselves for that. Although the other co-founders or... Uh, these are the other two co-founders, yes, these are the other co-founders. So once, once we started doing that, then we started bringing in the website, the, the content marketing magazine, I was really proud of the newsletter <laughs> once we built it. And uh, now it seems like ages ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, you have to learn fast. If you're not yeah. learning fast, it's not going to work for you <coughs> because it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you've done before mm -hmm. if you're not able to learn fast. Because what we know right now, it will not matter in next two years. So if you if you don't adjust, if you don't keep evolving yeah. as a person and part of the company, your company will gonna stay there. And this this is this is very important part when it comes down to hiring too, because a person that comes in has to be able to follow the process, the speed of it. A startup or a yeah. company that, that, that is working for. So this is basically extremely important for us once we bring in new people that can follow this, this process and the speed of our work. Okay, so learning agility. Definitely learning agility. So would that be the most important thing for your team or are there some, some others? No, this, this, is the most this is the most important thing for our, our team. Definitely this is the most important 
thing for a team because, like I said, if you don't learn fast enough, it doesn't matter what you did before because it's going to change. It's simply that you're going to put yourself in a situation where you have to adjust. And if you don't pick it up really fast, it's just going to outline you. And it's simple as that. Then all the other startups will have the advantage. Well, if they of course, have, if, 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 yeah. they, if they have agility, I mean, in the whole startup world, I think this is the, one of the main points, the agility of the team and the process and speed of their startup. So if, if you can pick it up, you don't, you don't put yourself in that team as a part of the team <coughs> that brings in some. So from September, did you all go full all in, or were you still working your job and temporarily got in one? One, uh, one co-founder went all in, all right. and the other two uh, picked up like a couple of months later. And that, that, that was basically it. Now uh, we're working 24/7 <laughs> every day. So did you already break even? Are you already <coughs> profitable? Uh, for ourselves, yes, but uh, the thing is, uh, this this part is a little bit tricky, you know, because uh, we have, let's say, over 500 better customers. Okay. So the thing is, when I say over 500, people always think, okay, he has a 500 customers. <laughs> it's not that easy. Like I said, um, we have a flexible pricing right. model. Yeah. So if, if you use a flexible pricing model, you have a company that <coughs> hires people twice a year. We don't have much income from you. Revenue from that. Revenue from that. Right. And if you have, uh, we have like, we call it, let's say around 80 really active users. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about annual packages that they pay in advance, then we talk about actual revenue. So basically, this is very tricky part, and we need to show that kind of traction to a VC fund, yeah. so they can understand that we can bring this <coughs> with okay. annual backing. So from uh, the I don't know uh, 420 uh, beta testers that uh, use it uh, sometimes, do they uh, return, or do they just use it to hire someone, and that's it? They they return when they when they have a need to hire. To hire again. So, for example, if uh, if somebody is having a problem, uh, one problem, and yeah. he wants to solve, we offer, for example, three months free for startup, like we talk. And they want to hire one person, and they want to learn how to hire <coughs> because they never did it. Yeah. They use it, and they hire one person, and we don't know when they're going to come back. So this this is this is the funny part about the tricky part. About recruitment. <coughs> um, yeah, well, that's pretty cool because uh, so uh, Phil Lippen, the old founder of Evno, mm -hmm. he said uh, that one of the key metrics that you can't fake is uh, returning customers. Yes, so return definitely. Them. Definitely, you can't fake. Definitely, you can't fake it. That's why I think uh, we get a bunch of new users, but returning customers. That's definitely. I think uh, very <coughs> important thing is that your first customers are really satisfied. So that um, this is basically the most important thing: the customers. Yeah. You have to solve their problem, yeah. and you have to make them happy about it. So if they need some kind of help, if they need, you have to be there for them. So this is the, the, the most important thing that you have to do with the first customers that you, that you get. And uh, we, we had a lot to do that with uh, Rimac Automobile yeah. and solve their problems that they have. And they've been a pretty much really, really good customer that actually, you know, uh, brought us, for example, they, they put uh, their uh, career website to sure. us. Are they on a yearly basis? Yes, they are on a yearly basis. Yeah, so, uh, for those who don't know, Rimax Automobili is the uh, uh, world's uh, fastest electric car, so electric supercar. They're based in Croatia. Yeah, and they needed a fast hiring process. Yeah, I hear they keep hiring a lot all the time. Definitely. Well, that's uh, 
Very good uh, recommendation. Yeah, really good recommendation. And uh, they did really good for us. Really good for us. So after hearing uh, all this additional information, are there any questions from the audience now? Well, we covered everything. There is a question. So you're now B2B and you're applying to B2C kind of? No. To get the customers. That's that's not passive. No, it's, it's still going to be B2B. Okay. It's still going to be B2B. <coughs> uh, it's still going to be sellable to, to the companies. It's still going to be B2B. It's not going to be become B2C. But uh, Adopter is evolving in that way. It's going to stay B2B. Okay. Definitely. Definitely stay in B2B. Okay, cool. So it was a really cool talk. Uh, would you like uh, to add something? Uh, do not think it's uh, useful. For, or any advice for anyone else working on their startup right now? So some of the lessons you learned in this uh, remarkably short time for such a good job, actually. Huh? Well, don't give up. Even if you fail, it's not a problem. It's, it's, it's something that happens. So it's 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 a matter of time if you're persistent enough that you will find your way up, and uh, you have to stay humble about it, not to pursue uh, money, yeah. just to pursue the solution and treat your customers really good. And that's basically all I have to say about it. That that worked for us definitely. Well, that's some good advice. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you very much for having me. Great having you today. Thank you. Good.